To get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline that I like to add a shake effect to. Let's begin by positioning the playhead on the timeline to where you want your shake effect to start. Click the razor tool to split the video at that position. Then select the second part of the split video and go up to filters. Click the plus button to add a new filter. In the favorite section, select the size and position filter to add it to your video clip. Then change the preset to shake one second scaled. Okay, now when I play this back, my video shakes for one second at the cut. If you want your video to shake for more than one second, position the playhead at the end of the shake effect. Split the video at this position. Then deselect your last clip and reselect it to see that it no longer has a preset, so change it to shake one second scale. Alright, and now my video shakes for two seconds instead of one. You can keep splitting your clip at the end of each shake, deselecting and reselecting the trailing clip, and then re-adding the shake effect to make it last for however long you want. Okay, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.